morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another week of vegan breakfasts. For breakfast on Sunday, I first started with some rice flour, some almond meal, and also some flax meal. And today we are using this to make some cookie batter pancakes. I also added in some salt, as well as a mashed banana, some maple syrup, and some plant milk. I use almond milk usually when I make pancakes and I mix this all together like so. Then I also added in some vegan chocolate. I used the Lint 70% dark chocolate as I usually do and then I mix this all together. I put a light amount of oil onto my frying pan and then I baked up the pancakes. Baked up, fried up, Whichever one, I cooked them really nice. Basically, this made five medium-sized pancakes and then I put some of my favorite chocolate curio on top. Just the drizzle, it just looks so good, you know what I mean? I then added some granola and that was my breakfast for Sunday. The perfect Sunday breakfast, if you ask me. Moving on to Monday and today I'm just making a smoothie as quickly as I can, essentially. I started with some frozen bananas, some frozen blueberries, some cacao powder, some flax meal, some coconut yogurt, and then I also added in rolled oats to fill me up, as well as some almond milk. Then I blended this all together, and it was this beautiful consistency, as you can see. Served it in a jar with my reusable straw, and that was my breakfast for Monday. Moving on to Tuesday, and we are making some overnight oats. These used to be a staple for me back in Melbourne, and I haven't had them for a little while. I basically started with some oats, some flax meal, some cacao powder, and some almond milk, and some maple syrup into a jar, and then I simply mix that all together until it is well combined. Once it's all well combined, as you can see, I just put it in the fridge overnight, and then in the morning I put it into a container to take with me to work with some fresh strawberries, as well as some muesli by the Bircher Bar and again some chocolate coconut yogurt on top and this looks so good I could definitely go for this right now and it was certainly delicious on the day. Moving on to Wednesday and I am making a cherry ripe smoothie. I started with some shredded coconut as well as some cacao nibs and then added in frozen bananas as well as frozen cherries of course. I added in some cacao powder and some coconut yogurt and then topped it all off with coconut milk. Then I blended this all together and then it was all done. Seriously, smoothies are such a quick and amazing way to start your day. And yeah, this was absolutely delicious. Moving on to Thursday and we are making another smoothie, a green smoothie. As you can tell, I I really like starting my day with smoothies. This one was some fresh orange frozen bananas, frozen mango, frozen spinach, as well as fresh passion fruit. I then added in some coconut milk and blended it all together. And doesn't that look so delicious and so healthy? The perfect way to start the day. <laughs> Moving on to Friday and I'm finally making something savory for breakfast. I started with three very small potatoes, which I just chopped into very, very small pieces before putting them onto a baking tray with a light drizzle of olive oil and some Himalayan pink salt. I baked that in the oven and whilst it was going I got half a can of chickpeas and then minced them up in my hand to get this scrambled texture. I added in nutritional yeast, garlic powder, paprika and salt and then mixed this all together before removing it and putting it in a frying pan to fry up over the stove. Then in a bowl I served with greens, oat sourdough, some avocado and fresh lemon as well as some sesame and flax seeds, and that was my breakfast on Friday. Moving on to Saturday, and honestly, this was a complete fail, but I turned it into something pretty magical in the end. My intention was to make pancakes with coconut flour, flax meal, almond milk, and a mashed banana. And as you can see, I've mixed this together like so. However, once I put it onto the pan like this and put it over the heat, it just did not cook. So I ended up turning it into a coconut bread, like banana bread sort of thing. I served it with some strawberries as well as some cacao nibs and some maple syrup. And that was my breakfast on Saturday and also concludes another week of vegan breakfast. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon for another video.